Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tuba Khurshi and welcome to MedMyMe. Over the past few months, I have been getting countless queries on GT. My DM is legit flooded with messages like how to take GTs, which platform should I use, when should I start taking a GT or is GT really important? So I decided to resolve this issue once and for all. Let's get started. A friend of mine used to say that if you're going to a war with arrows, you shouldn't be training with hammers. Guys, there's no debate about the fact that our GT is important. Of course they are. You see, GTs are a great simulation for exam because you need to train your mind to work throughout the duration while you are solving 200 to 300 questions. Also, GTs help you with time management, which is very necessary considering the fact that time-bound sessions have been introduced. Now, GTs also are a great revision tool for all the 19 subjects. They acquaint you with high yielding topics and they also help you decode the pattern of the questions. Trust me, all this comes very handy while you're giving the main exam. You should take a GT when you have completed 10 or more subjects or when there are 3 months or less left for the exam, whichever is earlier. The more GTs, the better your results. One of the major mistakes that I made during my preparation was attempting GTs every other day. I do not suggest that. See, in the initial phase of your preparation, you should be taking GTs every 15 days and in the last two months, you should be taking GTs every week, ideally on a Sunday. I have used Prep Ladder, Marrow and Arise for GTs and personally, I feel Marrow was the best. You see, in the last GT that I took on Marrow, I scored 228, which was very close to my actual score of 224. Not only this, I love the app interface of Marrow. First, active engagement. Don't respond uh, impulsively. Read every line and exclude the wrong options. Second, reviewing. Ideally, you should be reviewing all the questions, but if you're short on time, Please, please review your wrong answers as well as your right guesses and bookmark those questions. Third, segregation of mistakes. Any analysis is incomplete if you don't segregate your mistakes into silly mistakes, recall mistakes and out of the box mistakes. So you can use the bookmark feature to do this. For example, you can use the blue bookmark to bookmark your silly mistakes the star bookmark to mark your recall mistakes and the yellow bookmark to mark your out of the box mistakes. Now, if you are doing a lot of silly mistakes, then you need to pay more attention to the questions and read all options very carefully. If you are doing more of recall mistakes, then you need to do more revisions. However, you need not worry about the out of the box mistakes. I think 5 to 6 GTs are enough to waste an examination. I took my last JT on 15th of January and I wish I did not do that. Guys, you need to take your last JT latest 15 days before the exams. Because if you take your JT too close to the exam, it will severely affect your confidence. And trust me, exams are not only about how much you know, but they are also about how you perform in the examination center. I also faced the same problem and I consulted a senior of mine. He scored 238 in his first attempt in FMG Jan 23. And he told me that when you are analyzing your mistakes, write down the topics where you err and prepare them so well that the next time you get a question from those topics, you will not get it wrong. Trust me, this advice works wonders. With this, we come to the end of this video. But before I wrap up, I would just like to say that the soldier who bleeds the most in training bleeds the least in war. So all the best guys. See you later. Dasudanya.